Yes, carpers, and welcome back to part two of Winter on Burners. Um, I'm literally down here again. Um, I just had a walk around. I'm in Peg 8 again. Um, there's no one down here, as you can see. So we thought we'd come into this peg, fish exactly the same spots as we did last time. The wind is blowing down here. But yes, guys, part two of Winter on Burners. If you haven't seen part one, go and watch part one now where I catch, yeah, my PB, that Winter 40. My goal on this winter session, uh, this winter campaign over the next four episodes was to catch a winter 40 and you have completed it as you know guys. But I've set myself a new target, uh, my PB common which I've had for about 16-17 years, maybe more, at £32, um, I'm looking to break that. So a £40 common would be absolutely lovely but I just want to break my £32 common. Uh, don't think I've had a common out of here before. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to go and get all the gear out. I'll see you in a bit. Yes, carpers. Well, I've done the dreaded two trips. Uh, I'm getting too old to do it in one. Uh, Bivy's all set up got my bed chair in there and the sun is absolutely beaming uh, the water let me turn this camera around as you can see the wind is blowing in here the water is come up from where it was before if you can remember last time that was uh, quite a lot lower but yeah I'm just literally just gonna fish the same two spots as I've done last time um, I spoke to the bailiff in the total tackle shop um, literally had no bites over the weekend um, that he knows of um, spoke to a couple of um, anglers on here um, 38 come out this morning and something over the other side um, it's, there's not been many shows apparently so I think I've had all my luck guys um, hopefully we can do something different and wangle something out um, I say different but we're going to carry on from where we left off last time because it worked um, there's literally one other angler uh, plotted up next to me now um, there's one over there but the rest of this corner is literally all mine there's no one here whatsoever but anyway guys fingers crossed welcome to winter on burners part two I think this is gonna be a tough one guys it's gonna be tough Well, carpers, the house is all set up. Um, literally just sent a fish roll, uh, which is looking good. I literally just had a, a little lead about over the two spots I fished last time, caught fish from. Uh, they're both still there, so I've literally just, uh, I've bought, I think last time I come here, I bought 15 k. I'll probably put out about 15 kilo of uh, spot mix. Um, this week I've bought 18 kilo with me. Um, See, so yeah, I've got, that, that bucket mixed up there I think I weighed it I've got about 10 kilo in there so what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to put probably 3 kilo over each spot I'm literally just going to fish the two rods for now because that right hand rod I want it to uh, I want to fish a little margin spot so a little bit closer I don't want two on the spot because last time I had two on the spot it didn't really produce much I had a couple of little ones but yeah, I had nothing on that right hand rod. It was always on the, the left of the two. So I'm just going to put one towards that, one towards that, and then uh, I'm going to get them rods out, all, all cushy and lovely, uh, banker rods, and then uh, I'll have a little lead about out here for uh, another little spot. But yes, guys, I've literally just put a couple of spoms over each rod. I'm going to get the rest of this out get the rods made up, get some PVA bags made up, and then uh, I'll see you soon. Just making a solid bag up, the new Iconic Baits Mini Mix. Let's have a look at that. Let's get some of that up for you guys. There you go, all different different sizes and flavours in there. You've got some blood worms, uh, I'm not sure what else, but yeah, loads of different sizes in there. Really compacting these uh, solid bags. 
literally got a, uh, a whittled down Skypex and red liver bottom bait. I haven't put a wafter in there this time because I want to try a bottom bait uh, whittled down. So yeah, I'm going to get this uh, tied up, uh, lick, licked and sticked and uh, get this rod out. And hopefully we're going to catch a banger, but it's not looking good. Anyway, see you later carpers. Here's carpers, I'm all settled in. This house is set up, both rods are out. I've left one rod out for the minute. Um, obviously I found them two spots. I've got a rod on each spot, probably put about three kilo in each spot. Um, spod mix is literally just um, uh, hemp and maize, um, scopex and red liver boilies. We've got some halves, holes, and some crushed in there. And we've also got some spod syrup. Uh, Scopex spot syrup in there as well just to you know, give it a bit bit of oil slick but yes guys I've left that third rod out because I don't know where to put it I'm going to keep an eye on the water and I'm going to see if I see any movement any fish or anything whatsoever as soon as I see some movement that's when I'll start investigating but the two rods that are out they're on the money uh, that's where I caught fish last time so fingers crossed anyway guys don't forget well please like and subscribe to this video um, I had a look at my algorithm and over 90% of you uh, are not subscribed it's free just just get down there press that um, subscribe button hit that link button um, like sorry hit that like button while you're there and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and obviously head on over to iconic baits as well go and give them a little look I'll see you soon. Good morning, carpers. Um, what a beautiful day it is out there today. Um, yes, you might have gathered. I fell asleep again. Uh, woke up and it was dark. Um, literally woke up probably, probably about five or six o'clock um, had some dinner went outside um, everything was starting to freeze up um, and as you can see this morning everything was frozen um, yeah it was really really cold last night the sun was out uh, we're getting like the last part of the full moon um, wax wax us gibbon or something whatever it's called so I hope this time last month we fished this place uh, that's when we had the big one, so fingers crossed I'm hoping for, for something. But I was listening out for the water last night. Um, it was literally, the, the water was still as anything. Uh, there was no wind, no nothing. Um, I was trying to listen out for some, some carp shows or jumps or anything, but literally couldn't hear anything. I stood out there for a little while watching the water. Because uh, yeah, it was nice and bright last night because that moon was really bright and nice and high. But we didn't see or hear anything. But today guys, uh, gonna gonna stick to them two spots because they produced last time as I keep saying. Um, gonna keep an eye on the water for a third spot to where, where to put it. But yes guys, that went to about minus one, minus two last night. And I won't come one little bit, not in this track of 365. Um, absolutely wicked bit of kit um, there was times when I had to keep pulling it off because I was too up but yes guys I'm going to keep watching the water don't forget to like and subscribe I'm going to make a cup of coffee Well, carpers, it's nearly 11 o'clock now. Um, it's coming to change up time. I'm going to refresh the, the two rods that are already out there. Uh, I'm going to leave them out for another hour and a half, hour and a half, two hours, because when we were here last time, we was getting bites around about this time, maybe a little bit later. But the sun is beaming, warming the water up. I've had a little look around, not seen any fish. So I've decided that... I'm going to tie up a Ronnie rig and I'm going to put a pink krill boilie on it. Um, pop up, sorry. 
and I'm literally just gonna um, literally just gonna cast it about uh, just a single um, I've got two baited spots so just keep looking waiting to see any any carp shows not seeing anything see I think I'm gonna have a little lead about find a couple of clean spots maybe a bit of gravel I've not fished to gravel yet I've been fishing the soft spots which has done well but I'm gonna find a little bit of gravel and stick a little a little a little Ronnie rig on there with a little pink pop up because I know the pinks work well in here and I haven't actually tried the pinks yet so not in here anyway anyway speak to you soon well carpers it is one o'clock in the afternoon now and that sun is actually beaming it's actually pretty warm with uh with that sun out but yeah it's time to um change these rods literally tied a fresh new bag for that middle rod uh, i'm gonna get that left down rod in re redo that one and i've made up a i've made the, the third rod up with a, a ronnie rig uh, with a pink krill pop up on it critically balanced so i'm going to get these two rods in and refreshed and then uh we're going to have a little lead about for that third rod where i'm going to put it i'm literally just going to put it out as a single as i said before but yes guys that 40 pounder that i caught last time um i did message burners hall um it was a new 40 and it didn't have a name but unfortunately they won't let me name it because they're not naming fish anymore um typical just my luck because um, that is one of my goals as well to name a fish in the lake uh, but yes that that fish come out last december so literally about a year ago i think that come out with 34 pound that was the last time it come out so a year later i caught it as, as a new 40 just over 40 40 pound but yes guys i'm going to get these in get them back out get them on the money and hopefully we're going to bag a fish Well, Carpers, we are 24 hours in. I've redone the rods now. Um, I said I was going to put that uh, pink krill pop-up out on its own, which I did on a Ronnie rig. But I've just put about three spoms just scattered around it, so it's not so concentrated. Um, and then I've topped up the other three spots with uh, another three spoms on each. I'm not going to go heavy on the bait now. I did put a lot in before I come, um, before I put the rods in originally yesterday. But on a good note guys, I have just received confirmation that I am now a sub carp ambassador. So yeah, watch this space. I'm going to be all kitted out in a uh, sub carp stuff when it all turns up. Get rid of this hat, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I need a decent fishing beanie. So yeah, I'm going to get one of them. Got some other stuff coming guys. Uh, make sure you go over to their page and have a look. Um, they have some wicked stuff already, but as of this week literally yesterday i believe they bought a new line of uh, new merch out and you've got some sherpa hoodies and all, all sorts of bits and bobs i ain't going to spoil it for you just go over there and have a look i've um, got some wicked gear so yeah can't wait to get my hands on that but anyway guys tight lines don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and uh watch out for the next vlog my missus just bought me a new bait boat lovely well carpers it is just becoming dark o'clock it's about a quarter to four now the sun's just about to go down well it has gone down to be honest so yes the uh 
the dark skies are going to be coming in the frost is going to be setting and then we are going to be in for another cold one tonight I can't see anything happening tonight guys but you never know um, I've got my fingers crossed for tomorrow morning um, late morning anyway guys I'm going to cook up some food watch the water still not seeing any fish show tight lines well carpers how am I keeping warm on this cold session well for starters I've got this awesome wicked trucker 365 uh, five season sleeping bag keeps me absolutely toasty um, couldn't think of anything else that I'd need um, I've also got let me turn this camera around also got a nice thick tracker jacket um, waterproof as well um, keeps me absolutely lovely and warm um, so yeah that's the second part third part got some gloves just for taking the chill off your hands uh, got some fingerless bits on it um, these are the Navitas ones um, absolutely wicked bit of kit uh, so that's number three number four is some thermals I've got some Under Armour thermals leggings and top um, to go underneath all my main clothes and that keeps me warm as well uh, number five is some winter socks just some thick socks I know people go on about the merino, merino ones or whatever they are and all that lot but I get them from work they're free from work so I just put them on and also if you see these some nice thick boots some walking boots uh, waterproof Gore-Tex um, absolutely keep me warm and by no means least just to take the edge off obviously look ventilation you've always got to use ventilation uh, this Coleman stove is absolutely wicked um, I use it all through the winter don't don't tend to use it in the spring and summer I usually got another one for that but yeah use this guys just to take the um, also to make the coffee yes yeah, another one guys lots of tea and coffee and yeah just the Coleman uh, runs on premium unleaded fuel and yeah it's just wicked I'll just leave it I mean you go outside it's really really cold it might not feel that warm in here but when you go outside and then come back in you, yeah you definitely feel the warmth um, it just takes that that chill off um, doesn't use much fuel lasts an absolute eternity uh, absolutely unreal I've had this for about 14 years now um, I think I bought it brand new back in the day for about 40 quid and I think if you go online and try and buy them they're like what, 140 quid maybe who knows I'd even looked I'd, I'd hate to think how much they are and all I do I, this this little generator here that loops over I literally just change that once a year um, and yeah well, does me a treat so there you go there's my little five or six little winter tips that I use to keep warm oh how can I forget you can't forget the beanie I, I nearly forgot that guys a beanie you've got to wear a beanie as well <laughs> anyway guys see you later <laughs>good morning carpers well we're 48 hours in now and still no fish um, I believe no one has had anything uh, throughout the whole lake um, I may be wrong I've not heard anything um, spoke to a couple of people they've not had anything not even heard any fish jump yet still well as you can see guys everything is absolutely frozen Obviously there's no lid on this vast 24 acre reservoir, but everything else is frozen. Um, look at these rods, look. <laughs> yeah, waders, bivy, um, mat, everything is all, is all frozen. But what do we do, guys? I don't believe we're doing anything wrong. Um, I've just, I just think this change in weather, this really, you know, really bad cold snap, I think it's just switched them off to be fair. Um, they're probably huddled up somewhere all staying warm together but who knows where they are probably in the weed who knows ah oh, but guys if you like this episode well probably not but if you like this series give it a like and subscribe don't forget get <laughs> don't forget to hit that bell icon and uh hopefully in the next 24 hours we are going to catch something just 
even one of them little pasties would do absolutely i'd be over the moon with one of them pasties right now just to show you for the camera anyway guys see you later well carpers it's midday now um it's come to that point of the day where i usually um i usually um change you know re redoing the rods but um do you know what nothing's working and i know the spots are good the bait's good there's already bait out there so do you know what i'm just gonna leave them out there for another 24 hours um maybe you know maybe someone to come along and take it but i don't think by refreshing the rods is going to make a bit of difference so we will see but yeah you know i was saying the other day about the water coming up 100 percent that water has come up that's probably come up another i think that was where that that green bit is that was about here and as you can see it's now here oh uh, yeah it's definitely 100 percent coming up uh you can see my footprints <laughs> in there but so yeah uh, i'm not sure what's going on maybe they're pumping water in from somewhere i don't know but it's 100 percent it's coming up but yes guys like i said i'm going to leave the rods out there uh, nothing else is working i know the spots and everything's good so i'm just going to leave it out there uh sun's coming out everything's defrosting but come tonight it's probably going to all freeze up again but still no fish showing um there's uh, a lot less anglers on here now i think there's what, one two three four five six seven that i can see um whether there's some around the other side of the island i do not know but yeah there's definitely not a lot of anglers on uh temperatures probably probably dropped now but yeah um yeah not, not gonna redo the rods um don't know what to say guys other than i feel defeated um like i said this this proper crash in uh temperature i think it's just you know stunned the fish and they've just gone into you know into calm down mode as such they're literally just hiding somewhere probably in some weed somewhere trying to keep warm all huddled up who knows but we're not going to let it defeat us. Uh, we've had two amazing sessions on here, so we are probably due a blank. Uh, but I am back down here again in four weeks, uh, December the 28th, I believe, or the 27th, because my birthday is on the 29th, and I want to catch a winter carp. Not a winter carp, what am I on about? I want to catch a birthday carp. I don't think I've ever had a birthday carp, so I want to catch one. But anyway guys, I'm going to get back in the bivvy and I'm just going to chill out and watch a film. Um, literally got less than 24 hours to go and I'll see you later, tight lines. Well carpers, last evening now, got nothing else to say really. Um, I thought I I thought I was going to have a run earlier, that left that rod. Uh, Bobbin pulled up and then went back down. Um, literally shot out my bivvy and watched it. Um, it's obviously a line or something, um, but yeah, I thought I was going to be in for a run. Well, it's just shot out the bivvy. I was watching a decent movie, and yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. Hopefully something's going to happen tonight or early morning tomorrow. But to be honest, guys, um, I can't wait to go home. Uh, I've sort of had enough now. Um, yeah, I just want to get home, have a nice bath, nice hot cup of tea, chill out in front of the box on the sofa. And yeah, but look at that for a view. Look at the colours on that. It's absolutely wicked. Tight lines all. Well, carpers, as you can see, it's absolutely freezing out here and it is pack down time. Literally got about an hour and a half to go until I've got to be off. But yeah, look at that. It's absolutely misty, really cold. No fish, bye. <laughs> uh, no fish. 
Uh, no fish guys, as you can probably tell. But, well, this is real, real fishing. You can't win them all. Uh, the last two sessions we've been on here, we've um, done really well. Um, absolutely amazed with the last two sessions, but this session's a bank. But, oh well, that's, that's, that's fishing for you. This is real life fishing, and that's what this channel is about. Uh, literally every time I go fishing, I vlog it, whether I catch or not, because this is real life fishing. Anyway, I'm going to get back in the bivvy. Um, going to try to defrost a few things. I don't know how I'm going to do that in the next hour and a half before I pack down, but see you later. Well, carpers, that is a wrap, unfortunately. Third session on here and a blank, unfortunately, but that is real fishing. Um, I think this cold has proper turned the fish off. Um, I spoke to a couple of geezers and apparently uh, some geezer over the other side lost two at the net. Um, other than that, there's been no, no takes, no shows, no nothing. But guys, it's not over, because uh, this is uh, part two of Winter on Burners. You join me for part three in probably about two or three weeks, end of December. Hopefully, I can catch a birthday cart. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you soon.